Hi, I'm here at uh, the Peak Trail on Victoria Peak in Hong Kong and I'm here this week for the memorial services and the farewell activities and the funeral of my dear mother-in-law, the mother of my first wife, Mary. And I want to take a moment to, uh, to reflect here. It's one of the highest points you can be uh, in Hong Kong. And it's, well, it's a little bit of, if heaven on earth exists, it's right here. It's quite, quite on top of the hustle and bustle of Hong Kong. And it's a very peaceful and serene place. Hong Kong, like many cities in the world, actually reminds me on the many aspects. You can be uh, in Hong Kong in the, the financial district or in New York, let's say New York, in Wall Street. You can go to Fifth Avenue in New York or you can go to the really very exclusive uh, shopping areas here. If we look at Amsterdam, you can go to the, the, the part with the financial things of the PC Hoofdstraat. You can go to general malls, you can go to the wonderful marketplaces in, uh, in Amsterdam, the Albert Kuipstraat for the Dutch watching this. You can do touristic things and actually this peak trail is literally 50 yards next to the, the, the peak, the biggest the touristic thing and people take a train up, wait for a long time. I just took a taxi up and it's just a wonderful place. Uh, mourning the death and celebrating life is a theme I address here for a moment. When somebody passes away, as Mary did on the 8th of August 2012, and now my mother-in-law did uh, last week, uh, first of all, what comes to mind as I walk here on heaven on earth is they are together again. So everybody who's left our earth, whatever dimension is after this, I cannot tell you. I haven't been there, and whoever has been there doesn't come back <laughs> with all the near-death experiences. But the next experience, my mother-in-law and Mary are together again. And that is a very peaceful thought for me. And the mourning the death and uh, celebrating life is one of those unique combinations that life offers us to begin with. It is a choice to what we look at. Do we look at away from things or do we look towards things? Do we look at the difficulties? Or do we look at the beautiful possibilities? And actually life is of course both. Let there not be any misunderstanding about that. But I remember very clearly when Mary left us, terrible situation. Uh, it was 13 days after she left us that she was actually uh, buried, that we put her, uh, the, the physical remains into Mother, back to Mother Earth. And the first week was really all about just mourning and sad, and of course we're still sad. How can you not be sad when somebody leaves us here? And the second week then already before the, the burial, the, uh, the funeral, was more about celebrating life already, to look at the beauty, what exists. And that's actually constantly, every day of our lives, we have that possibility. Do we look and focus on the problems, uh, or do we look and focus on the possibilities that life offers us? And I suggest clearly to do both, but with emphasis on the second. Uh, Anyway, so that's what I just wanted to mention briefly on this beautiful place here. To constantly remember we have a choice what we look at. And I know people from above, as I look out to the skies, Mary and her mother-in-law and many up there, my parents, and many dear ones, they would love us to look at the possibilities, at the beauties of life, to move forward, to do what we have to do here, to enjoy what we do, to work hard to contribute, and to take our lives and the lives of the people around us to the next level so those who aren't here anymore will be very proud of us and thank us for doing that contribution okay bye from hong kong ciao